The Ethels here, finding ourselves in deep water. Authorities alerted, are we heading for slaughter? Criminal activity at Weymouth Bay, causing some chaos and a little dismay. A bucket list achievement ticked off the list, worth the hassle from Karen, God she was pissed. An amazing encounter in the sea, Leanne so excited almost making her pee. Join us on our journey on the Jurassic Coast as we explore Dorset dragging Ethel from pillar to post. Good morning and welcome back to the travels of Ethel and this morning we found ourselves at Blagden Fruit and Fruit Farm and Tea Room and on this campsite they've got their own alpacas and strawberry, strawberry picking tunnel and their own little tea room it is right cool and we've only paid £20 for a night it's height of season in August and we've got electric Ready to do the washing up tea? Yeah. Yesterday, while we was out and about, we found a bakery selling fresh bread. So we bought some bread and you put it in your backpack, don't you? And you go about your day, walk up this morning. Very sad looking fresh bread this morning. This is what we've got to have a bacon sandwich on. Well, you are never going to believe this. We've just pulled up at North 4 in the car park and I've finally seen proper dolphins in the sea. Can you believe it? Like this entire holiday, that's all I wanted. In fact, last year, that's all I wanted. It's absolutely amazing. I've just been sat on harbour now watching loads of guys paddle boarding and um, all of a sudden dolphin comes and it's literally we're in a you know an oars distance of these guys paddle boarding and they're chasing it round and they're herding it and things like that which shame on you guys a little bit shitter you know but I can't lie they're on a little bit of me that were right jealous <laughs> they wanted to be in that water but with that dolphin. Now for about 10-15 minutes, Leanne's seen a dolphin. Dolphins and ice cream. And ice done. cream, that's it. We're going home now. <laughs> yes. We're just walking down way well through Weymouth and it's really really busy. They've got loads and loads of cute quaint little alleyways with loads and loads of really funky shops that have got quite cool souvenirs and things like that in. Having a really nice time, Tia's happy because she's shopping. I'm happy because I've seen a dolphin. <laughs> we have just met this guy. He has got the most amazing shop. If ever you're in um, Weymouth, go and tell me the name of your shop. Coco Loco. And what street is this down? St Alban Street, Weymouth. You really must come here. I've just bought two pair of earrings. They've come all the way from Thailand and they are gorgeous. Really unique start shop. Stop off. She calls me day and night from 
So these names on a grain of rice, me and my sister used to get them all the time as a child and I've not seen them for absolutely years. So this has been really cool to get. Me and Leanne absolutely love a fossil. I don't know what it is about them, but we do love a fossil. We tend to buy a fossil from everywhere we go. So we've just seen these two fossils, 400 million years old, 30 pounds. I mean, that is value for money if ever I'd seen it. So we're just deciding which one now, but that's going to go in as fossil collection. Finally, after three, four days, we have sunshine. Sun's out, so yeah, chuffing hell. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally here. Hopefully, it'll, it'll stay for a bit. The oh. Ethel's on tour. <laughs> We're just getting into the sea now. We're actually in the same sea, the same bay as the dolphin. How it's cool! Freezing. It is cold. So we're right now swimming. Oh, I can't hear it because it's in my bag. We're right now swimming. It's inside my bag, they'll never hear it. Deep water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Karen picks up on humour. We're quite sarcastic and we just were here for a bit of a laugh. So we've, so we've just... just said to Karen, so Marine Guard, oh, we were just weighing up whether we could uh, out swim you in your wetsuit. Well, Oliver did. Joking, completely joking, we're being respectful of this dolphin. She's just threatened us with an arrest. She's just told us she's gonna call the police and we'll get arrested. <laughs> I kid you oh, not. Fucking what? I kid you not. She has literally just said it's actually an offence to arrest um, to harass um, any marine animal. You'll get arrested. Like, we're just joking, Karen. Karen Shut up, Karen. Pardon your beans, Karen. Fantastic time on the beach at Weymouth. I can't believe I saw a dolphin that close yeah, for fantastic. that amount of time. Yeah, he's literally just been there all day, so yeah, it's madness. It's crazy, really. We are just gonna have a wander around Weymouth, grab some tea, try and find Tia because she's gone shopping. Yeah, and then we're heading to, we've got a campsite booked local tonight. Uh, same place we stopped last night, actually, but it was really nice, really cheap, and you know, what more do you need? Crowds that the dolphin has brought now. And Tia's been off on her own, and look what the little bugger's done. She's gone and got a holiday tattoo. <laughs> Who does that? Meg and everyone else. Let me look, turn around. So my child is now marked. Marked for life. We've walked along the front and found a restaurant, so I think we're going to have something here. It's really, really nice, and we're absolutely starving. Yeah.
that literally was the best bruschetta I have ever tasted. If you're in Weymouth, you need to come here. I've just been out something to eat now. Lovely meal, actually. Uh, we're walking back though, Motor Point, and what they've done is they've cordoned the entire seafront off now. When I say entire seafront, what I mean is this part of bay. There's about the, where Karen were on her own last time. There's about <laughs> ten people now, and they've cordoned entire bay off, so you can't even go and see anymore because dolphins still in bay. Who would have thought all this excitement over a dolphin? So we've just asked one of the guys that's the curse god that's protecting the barrier. Um, yeah, so basically what the experts seem to believe is that the dolphins injured. Now, they, apparently dolphins, when they're injured, they, they beach. I don't know why, I, I can't tell you, but apparently that's what they do. So the reason they've cordoned it off is so that it can beach freely and they can get a vet to it. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, it looks alright to me, but who am I? Actually, it's not a secret, it stinks, it's stinking out of the van 24-7. They did a fart this morning and oh, it must have been about 3 a.m. I would die in, I had to turn over, well, me and Martha suffocated, dying, wanted to literally off ourselves. It was tragic. 